Welcome back again in another podcast. We discuss in this podcast short stories, but the moral lesson is not the story itself. Actually, it is the speaking, the communication, the language that we can elicit, elicit the pronunciation of from this reading. Analytically speaking, if we go through every one of these sentences, and that's why I'm taking so much time in every paragraph, because I'm dwelling on the fact that you can be the beneficiaries of this podcast, simply because we can listen, we can invest some time to benefit you, to give you something that of an interest to you, to listen to when you are commuting to work, when you're coming back from work, when you're debating with your friends, when you want to have an arsenal of vocabulary that um, you can just take advantage of if you are talking to a manager or if you want to impress uh, a lady or if you're trying to submit an application for a scholarship program. So um, eventually the, uh, the target of languages being able to convey that message to people, to let them understand you and uh, to make very positive impression of the language itself. When Joanna woke again, it was dark. Now, I want to ask you a question. When they wrote this kind of uh, <clears throat> short story, why didn't they say, when Joanna woke up again? And instead, they just ended up by saying, when Joanna woke again, it was dark. Are these two expressions interchangeably used, or is each one of them carrying um, a different meaning? It was dark. Now, when, when we talk about it was dark here, now was here, as you can see, it means kana. Um, here, it doesn't refer to anything. Sometimes we call it the dummy it. And sometimes it refers to the whole situation like climate, weather, <clears throat> atmosphere. It was dark. But there was something even darker. And now this is to get your attention, to thrill you. <clears throat> but there was something even darker. Now here, darker is, an, is a, a gradable adjective. It means muslim or mu'tim. So it was a bit darker. So when we talk about darker, we talk about something that is the opposite of light or lighter on the wall. It's on the opposite side. And the pronunciation is opposite or opposite. It's on the opposite side. The word is opposite, opposite. If you look at the pronunciation here, the transcription tells you everything. It's opposite in British English or opposite in American English, but there is so small, tiny difference out there. It's not that a, of a big difference that, um, <clears throat> that is worthy to be emphasized here or stressed out. It was opposite to her. Her refers back to Joanna. <clears throat> it was a hole in the wall. It was a hole in the wall. So hole means thuqb. And we usually refer to anything that is rounded or um, engraved or uh, dug as a hole. So hole is, um, is a hollow place in a solid body or a surface. It's a hole in the wall. And wall means jida, wall. It was in the door because it didn't reach the ground. Now, the conclusion of the, uh, the, the observer, 
The person who is reporting this is very simple. He's just saying, I concluded it was not a wall, just simply because it was not scratching or it was not touching the, uh, the, uh, the surface of the floor. So it's not a, it's not a wall. Uh, plus, the word ground is arv. To ground someone is to have people behave themselves or to reprimand someone. Also, uh, it's the solid surface of the earth. It was in a window. It was in a window. It was in a window. Either. Either means kedalik. Either. This was just a hole. This was just a hole in the wall. This was just a hole in the wall. It had nothing. Just like her. It had nothing. Now, had here is not an auxiliary verb. Just FYI. It's not an auxiliary verb. It's a main verb. Joanna and actually had refers here to the possession. Milkia. If it had nothing, it means it was empty. It was vacuum. There was nothing there. Joanna felt so angry. Now, she felt angry. Now, sometimes people say she is angry and she felt angry. From my own understanding, they're both meaning the same. However, we use them interchangeably because language is very diverse. Very diverse to a point where we can exchange multiple expressions with carrying the same meaning just because we do not want our language to be monotonous. Monotonous. Mumille. Monotonous. With the market and with herself. 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 She pulled off one of her boots. She pulled off. This is a phrasal verb. Pulled off. Sehbet. Aw. She pulled off one of her boots. It was full of holes. Sahabat. Aw akhrajat. She pulled off. To pull someone off. Pull him off the ground. Yani sahabhu min al ard. Pull, pull, pull it off the roof. Sahabhu min al saqf. Pull it up. Carries different meaning here. One of her boots. It was full of holes. Kana mali bithuqub. From, not from, from her long journey. Notice here. It's long journey. Journey. It's journey or journey. 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 It's not journey. It's not jorn. It's journey. 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 So, see, it's journey. Journey, journey or journey, journey, which I tend to say it uh, more. It's journey, not journey, it's journey. And long journey, long journey, long journey, long journey, long journey. See the pronunciation here. You have to practice again and again and again and again and again. It's journey, opposite and journey. These are two words that we often get bombarded with the wrong pronunciation of. So you have to um, train your ears to say them correctly and to repeat them, not just to say them, but it should have this kind of manifestation in practice. You don't have just to listen to it, but to actively say it. She threw it, she threw it, threw it. Al-Qathu, she threw. The past of throw, threw, threw. She threw it across the street. Al-Qathu, Abrasha, at the hole. At the, at the, at the hole. At the hole. Now, you notice that I'm not saying these kind of words in a normal cadence kind of speech because I'm an English teacher. I'm a teacher of English to satisfy some grammar Nazis. Um, so I say them with so much stress on each one of these words because I want you to learn pronunciation the better way. When Joanna woke up again, or when Joanna woke again, it was dark, but there was something even darker 
on the wall opposite her. It was a hole in the wall. It wasn't a door because it didn't reach the ground. It wasn't a window either. This was just a hole in the wall. It had nothing just like her. Joanna felt so angry. With the market and with herself, she pulled off one of her boots, one of her, one of her, one of her boots. It was full of holes from her long journey, 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 journey. Say it again. Journey, 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 journey. She threw it across the street at the hole. Thank you very much. Please read it again and again and again, at least 10 times to uh, be able to say them correctly. I'll look forward to seeing you again in another podcast.